In this lesson, we'll investigate some properties of triangles. And the question on this page asks, what are the properties of the median from the vertex between the equal sides of a, an isosceles triangle? So here's the vertex at A between the two equal sides. And so there's our median, and I'll label that the point D. So D is the midpoint of BC. Now since it's the midpoint, that means that BD and CD would be equal. Now the right bisector of a line segment includes all points that are equidistant from the endpoints of the line segment. So this we're investigating whether this is the right bisector or not. It's median for now. And it includes all points that are equidistant from the ends of the line segment from B and C. So certainly D is the same distance from B as it is from C. Now in the diagram we're told that AB and AC are equal because this is supposed to be an isosceles triangle. So I'm stating something that we're told here. Now A lies on this right bisector of BC because it's the same distance from B as it is from C. Now since the midpoint also lies on the right bisector, that means that the median AD must be perpendicular to BC. The point D is the same distance from B as it is from C, and the point A is the same distance from B as it is from C. So this entire line here must be perpendicular to BC. So we'll put a right angle symbol right there. So now we know the median is the perp is also the perpendicular bisector of PC. Now remember, perpendicular means it forms a right angle with BC, and bisect means that it cuts it in two equal halves, again, since D is the midpoint of BC. Now, since that median is perpendicular to BC, so this median is also the altitude from the vertex A. So that median is also the altitude from the vertex at A down to side BC. Now these two, that median really cuts this whole ABC triangle into two exactly equal or congruent parts. Notice that these two triangles ABD and ACD, they have side AD in common. It's the same side in both triangles. What I'm doing now is I'm trying to show that these two triangles are exactly the same, and we call them congruent. Congruent when two figures are exactly the same shape and size. Now they have AD in common. Uh, we're given that AB and AC are equal, which is already shown on the diagram here. And certainly side BD and CD are equal because D is the midpoint of BC. So in these two triangles, there's a pair of equal sides, there's a pair of equal sides, and AD is the same in both. So that's why these two triangles have to be exactly congruent because they have three pairs of exactly equal sides. And that's the symbol for congruent. It's an equal sign with a tilde over the top. That means that these two figures are exactly the same. Which would mean, for example, that if you look at this congruency statement that side AB and AC are equal, BD and CD would be equal, and AD corresponds to AD as well. Also, angle A and angle A would be equal, angle B and angle C would be equal, and the same with the angle Ds. So, that means that angle, now look at the, the order I'm saying this, BAD, which is this angle right up here, would have to equal exactly angle CAD, which is this angle up here. And so if these two angles are equal, that means that AD bisects angle BAC. So that median cuts the angle BAC in two exactly equal halves. So we conclude two things. First of all, the median AD from the vertex between the two equal sides, so that's saying it's from point A in this example, coincides with the altitude of the vertex, so that median is also the altitude of this triangle, and it also bisects the angle of the vertex in two exactly equal halves.
So there's a couple of properties that we could could deduce uh, from a tri an isosceles triangle. 